Welcome to the conclusion of our Resurrection Egg Story Time. For the last couple days, we have been looking at 12 different elements of the Easter story. And today, we will be concluding by looking at the pink egg and the white egg. So, let's first look at the pink egg. The story is called The Stone. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. That's Matthew 28, 2-4. What's inside the pink egg? Let's find out. Inside the pink egg, we find a stone. The stone that was rolled in front of Jesus' tomb was much bigger than the stone we had in this egg. It was as big as a door, and probably weighed more than a car. After Jesus was buried, special soldiers were assigned to stand guard at the tomb. But these men were no match for God's angel. It took just one angel to roll the stone away. And the guards were so afraid that they fainted. Where did the angel get his strength? From God. Well, that's our story for the pink egg. Let's take a look at the white egg. And the story reads, But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who is crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. As he said, Come and see the place where he lay. That is Matthew 28, 5 and 6. Now let's take a look at what's inside the white egg. Wait, the white egg is empty. Are you surprised? I know I am. When two women came to the tomb of Jesus, they were surprised. The heavy stone was rolled aside, and the tomb was empty, and Jesus' body was not there. The angel told them, He is risen. Jesus had come back to life. This was a promise that Jesus made to his disciples at their special dinner just a few days before. That he would die, but come back to life to show that who believed in him, that they would live forever too. Someday, because he died for us, we can meet him and thank him in heaven. That's the story of Easter, and I promise it's true. Thank you for joining us as we've been having such an exciting time going through these stories. Pray that you would continue to remember the Easter story for the rest of your days and share it with everybody that you can. That's all we have for you today. We have a, hope you have a great Easter. Bye-bye.